of the Nova Knicks no more. It was a contentious reunion for Dante DiVincenzo and his former Knicks coaches last night, jawing at the bench multiple times throughout the game in an altercation with Rick Brunson. After the game, they had to get separated, and so here's Dante on the incident. The, it was also a clip of you saying thanks for the trade to I didn't say thanks for the trade. Oh, what did you say? I didn't say thanks for the trade. I was about to finish. I was joking with Tiff about uh, not being able to finish in a long time. I wasn't talking to Tiff. I saw the clip. I wasn't talking to Tiff. I didn't say anything about the trade. So a little hard to make out there, but clearly, right. is this something or nothing? It's really nothing. I mean, the fact is, is that he didn't appreciate the fact that once they acquired Mikel Bridges, uh, that he was going to be relegated to a lesser role. I am a huge fan of Dante DiVincenzo, Shea Shea. Um, I appreciate him. I am thankful for him. I thought he did a great job for the New York Knicks last year. I thought he won a playoff game in game two. I thought he had spots in the playoffs where he really showed up, and I would have loved to have seen them acquire Carl Anthony Towns while keeping DiVincenzo. Um, he was talking to Tibbs as opposed to Rick Brunson. Uh, from what I've been told, I can understand him feeling unappreciated, but in the end, I got nothing but love for DiVincenzo, and I'm very thankful for what he meant for the New York Knicks. I wish he was still there. I agree with you, Stephen A. I think, you know, him with his ability to space the floor, his ability to knock down the three. So you got a guy, you know, Jalen Brunson can operate. He can take it one-on-one. -on -one, he can put the ball on the floor. But uh, DiVincenzo, he played extremely well, especially against the Sixers. He had some moments against the, uh, the Pacers also, Stephen A. He can knock down the shot. He can catch fire. Because uh, didn't one game he have like 40 points? Yeah. I agree with you. I, I really couldn't understand what he's like. This is what happens when they let you run the show. And so you saying, Stephen, that he was talking to Tibbs. He was like talking to Tibbs. got what he wanted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I will say but this. But I, I, like, I like the kid. I, I, lo I love him, and I appreciate him. I will always appreciate what he did for the New York Knicks. On another note, Anthony Edwards, the way that brother was hitting shots, if that brother shows up in the regular season, he going to win MVP. Yeah, hey, maybe the Olympics. He going to win MVP. If he show up shooting the way he shot against the Knicks, Anthony Edwards, yes. Yeah. Uh, that one it comes with you, all the you know confidence. What? Go ahead, Stephen. Stephen, you know what normally happens when guys go to the Olympics and they're around those other great players and they yep. see their work ethic and they see how they approach the game and how they go about their business, they normally come back reinvigorated and take their game to the next level. I think he has a lot to prove. He wants to show it wasn't an accident that he was on that team, but I think a guy that has even more to prove because he's upset that he got very limited playing time I wouldn't be surprised if Jason Tatum goes crazy this year.